Yeah, I might have uh, gotten a little fucking pissed at this fucking heater earlier after it smoked me out for the third fucking time when I was in front of it, shutting off for no reason, plume and smoke. So I just got a new filter kit from Runnings here, and I couldn't help but notice. I'm like, oh, sale, $17.99. I'm like, it wasn't on sale. So I just happened to remove the tag. Look at that fucking bullshit. Welcome on back, fellas. And, well, once you know, winter decided to finally fucking come. And when that decided to come, look at that. The heater decided to take a big old shit on me. So this episode, I know we're supposed to be working on the ramp truck. Believe me, it's getting fucking taken care of, but... This is a little intermission episode here. A little halftime episode. At Better Days Auto Sales, Larry even got love for the pimps and the players. We're going to fix on this fucking heater. Everyone's got one of these things. They're pretty fucking simple to work on. And here we go. Plus, it's pretty fucking cut and dry. I already had it apart so the fucking screws are loose. But there's eight screws on the outside here. If you're smart, you use an impact. I mean, it's literally sitting right there on the wall. But, you know, why are you going to inconvenience yourself by uh, not inconveniencing yourself? Get them all out of there. Discard that. Got this fucking thing. There you go. That's an air filter. One of the air filters. Take that son of a bitch out. It's probably plugged. You're supposed to wash it out. Whatever. Take this fuel ga or, uh, pressure gauge off. Just unscrew it. Usually it's, uh, you don't even need a wrench for it. Now you got these four screws holding this housing on. These are all 516 screws, or you can, hell, even use a Phillips head screw. Just keep them separated so you got half a fucking idea how to put it back together. There it goes. So, what you got here is another filter. And as you can see, it's nicely plugged. This is cam driven pump here that pumps diesel or your fuel of choice out of the tank and puts it through the injector nozzle here. This guy's a little vent. I mean, I already took it out. It, 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 if you can see through, it's good enough. But the whole reason it keeps shutting off is because this filter is plugged right to hell solid and it's plugged solid because what's happening, these little black chunks, the actual pump, shitting the bed inside. For some reason, this one's got like a different coating on it. They're all the same length. I don't get why, but if, uh, if it makes your little uh, soul feel better at night, put that one back right there. So, there's the pump. Basically, you got air coming in on this side, and uh, you got a vacuum on this side, which in turn, these go down and around, and basically, it has a vacuum applied to this nozzle here, and it starts drawing the fuel out of the tank. As you can see, all the black shit, and uh, it's all worn on there. And you can see in here, she's starting to come apart. So what you got here, I mean, in theory, I bet you could flip these over and use them again. But I ended up just fucking getting a whole new uh, wheel here. They're 30 or 35 bucks for the new kit. Oh. Is that center going to fit? <laughs> the center might be. Well, I might be flipping them over and reusing them again, cleaning it out. Yeah, it should work. Famous last words. Wait, which way did this come out? Oh. Huh. Probably should have paid attention to that. Are you stupid or something? It is on. Yeah. We're, we're, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> you can't remember what the fuck you're doing, do you? Flat side out, it looks like. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands, flat side goes out. Fucking <laughs> weird. Let's <laughs> see, it's just a fucking cam driven pump. This stays stationary, and that's what these little bits in here are for. They slide in and out to, you know, make a fucking vacuum, or I think it's a vacuum. Might be pressure. I don't know. I'm fucking retarded. I just know how it goes together. I don't know how it works. Fuck you.
business. Yeah, just minding your own business. Shop is one big cluster right now. All the electronic cleaner, which by the way is mass airflow cleaner if you didn't know. Wow, she's a squirter. Move to that one. Oh, this thing's gonna have all the extra flavors once it fires up, I'm sure. Slots the same. Oh, hey. The wheels are slightly different size, too. Are you fucking kidding me? Is the new one bigger or smaller? New one's... New one's smaller. But, in theory, because of these things, it should come out... We'll see! Oh, and these are different size, too. So, will this not go back on? Is that what's happening here? No! 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 Oh, yeah, it's thicker, too. <laughs> I think this boy's cheese slid off his cracker. I'm glad I bought all this stuff and struggled so hard to get it all. <laughs> it's all raw. Beautiful. It all looks the same, but it is not. All right, so that's some shit. Sorry, guys. We're not actually replacing anything today. We're just gonna clean it all up nice, nice, and flip over the veins and call it good. It worked before I put my foot through the uh, circuit board, so, I mean, really, I could've just, you know, gotten some clear kerosene for it because I like to run on that. It won't stall on that, so. But here I am trying to be proactive and before the pump explodes like the other one they had did, you know, why won't you struggle? Motherfucker. My freaking ears! I mean, it all looks to be in decent shape. It's just, you know, as you can see, by the nice wear on things, there's no bushings or anything. It rides against the metal, and this is, I don't know, fucking some kind of ceramic, maybe, or something. I don't fucking know, but it, uh, it's meant to wear, so. There, see, look at that. It sits flush now. What do you know? Mechanic. All right, so that side's worn. So here, I'm going to just flip all these over and pretend everything is going to be just fine. You can see all the wear grooves in the shit. So basically, it's not building the pressure or vacuum, whatever the hell it is, uh, good, as efficiently as it should, which is, uh, which is making this not burn as hot. But I figured I'd show you guys how this shit works. So I know a lot of you fuckers live in the cold and uh probably could benefit from this instead of just throwing away you know so that's what society is nowadays just throw everything away don't look into fixing it now why would you want to do that all right for you ocd motherfuckers i think that was the special guy i want to be in the special olympics well not as stupid as i i mean i drove two hours round trip to get both parts that i thought were going to fit but Mr. Heater brand is apparently just different enough from Dynaglow to where it looks the same, but it's not. I'm the idiot. No one, no one to blame but myself. Probably should blow the rest of this out. So this nice gas, or uh, you know, it's got a gasket, but uh, it's all plugged up. We're just gonna pretend it's not anymore. Oh wow, it's supposed to be white. This is cleaning way better than I thought it was gonna. Oh, fucking clean one owner. Only driven to church on Sundays. So you get in there between layers, and and it's just triple cleaning action here. Yeah, look at that. You would never know this thing's been used. How dare you! Oh yeah, fucking slapper. Might as well just finish off the can. I mean, didn't do it. You might as well do it right. I I could play basketball. You definitely want to dry this out before putting it in there because uh, I don't think your heater's gonna like cheating on this because that's supposed to be a vent. It sucks. Yeah, I, I don't know how well it would end up working. Hey, f you. We're back. I blew this thing out. Got it assembled. I blew out the fucking eye here, blew this shit out. But if you listen, you can hear the pump pumping. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
it seems to be pretty dry here. So it's time to put it back together. You can see the little bubbles here, little nipples. <laughs> they go in the holes here. This side goes over here. Just kind of slam her down. You don't want to go until you hear the cracking and then go a quarter turn more and you know they're torque spec. Or until they strip. Either or is uh, to the book. Uh, oh yeah, the gauge that I threw, it still is accurate. Calibrated. Cal bench calibrated. In a previous episode, we discussed that calibration is critical to maintaining the quality and accuracy of your measuring equipment. Just unscrew it, usually it's... Uh, take this some bitch. Flipper. Or, no, no, I'm... I am smart, and I'm smart. I'm self smarted <laughs> Save your daughter come out here and do it for you. She probably will figure it out way faster than I do. So, put that son bitch back in. Don't run it without it, like I did. I mean, you can, but... That's why the things are marred up inside. All right. Now you pick up the cover that you stepped on and threw away. Oh yeah, right. Just give her a nice little wipe down. Yeah. There, this, see, clean. This is bullshit. Usually when I hold a camera for you, I at least have a Soda! They're fucking right by the door. Oh, we're on. Surprised you didn't f***ing smell them. Oh. I'm not filming for you anymore. Man, you're recorded. Oh, here, see, this is how you fix the whole... Soda! I'm gonna need a tasty, uh... Soda! This one. Uh oh, missing a screw. Now we're gonna run again. Hey, look at that. Random hardware on the ground from the broken circuit board. How convenient. Torch, torch. Safety third, you know, you don't wanna put your foot there. This is totally gonna stop the foot. Hey, what the hell are you doing, Jimmy? All right. Perfectly reasonable way to act. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're just trying to touch my taint. <laughs> Almost got a little excited there. <laughs> <laughs> Most actually got months. Here we not here. All right, here we go. Hey, got a red light now. Didn't have that before. Whoa! It's almost like it works like a shut. That lit right off instantly, didn't smoke it all before with diesel, it'll just cheech and then f***ing light off. It's already starting to get red, it would take a minute before the actual had to get red on it. And overall, it sounds way quieter. Yeah. Oh, here, let me, uh, oh no. I'm hurting the sensoring. I crinkled the sensor. Oh yeah, that thing's f***ing nice and red now. Yeah, it would never get that red with the diesel. Just crack and open a nice, uh, nice cold liberal tear drink. Have a little drink. Just celebratory. Oh, that is a tasty, tasty tear. Oh, yeah. That's nice and red. That's like, that's how it's supposed to look like when it's brand new, actually. Hasn't looked like that in a while. It's really not that fumy. No, it's not. And it didn't shoot out a bunch of smoke when I turned it off either. Fuck yeah. No swearing. Oh man, it's gonna be fucking hard. Oh, I fucked that off. So anyways there, meatheads, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, picture here. It's not that hard to fix these things. Don't throw them away. All the parts are available. Remember, don't put your fingies any place you want to put your dinky.